Hey guys, uh, we're back again today. It's Friday morning, just getting ready for the weekend. And uh, today me and Dee are bringing you this 1964 Pontiac Le Mans convertible. Absolutely stunning driver condition car. Um, it's powered by a 455 big block uh, Pontiac engine underneath uh, the hood and uh, just great chrome, real nice body lines, nice straight car. Older restoration, but still a great car, Dalton. Absolutely, and the 45 kind of surprised me. Uh, this is one that we traded for, and uh, I mean, it, it was great, great car. Yeah, we were very pleasantly surprised when we got this car in. Um, we didn't buff it or nothing, Dalton. Look at the paint. Yeah, the paint's gorgeous on it. Uh, we actually got it from uh, like around Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Guy traded it in on another Le Mans, uh, 70. But yeah, this is a very straight car. Um, it does have a prior salvage title, uh, but we aren't sure why. The uh, frame, all that is straight underneath, hasn't, you know what I mean, been bent. Um, so we're still trying to figure out why it does have a salvage title, but we would like to disclose that. That's a sweet car. We've had that before, and a lot of times it could be that uh, 20, 30 years ago, uh, someone stole it and took it for a joyride, so an insurance company was involved. It's just really hard to say, but if you go to our website, guys, uh, coyoteclassics.com, you're going to see just how solid these floors and stuff are. Yeah. So, yeah, check out those floor pans. It's just very, very nice underneath. As we go underneath the hood, again, driver quality, not a show car um, under the hood. Just a nice driver quality, uh, older looking 455 that runs just smooth as silk. Yeah, it does. Time. And you can see it uh, here, it's sitting here idling. It idles great too. Yeah, yeah, and very nice. These 455s are great motors. Uh, Jay did, uh, from from when this car came in under the hood to what Jason did, I mean, it looks great under the hood Yeah, now. it does, yep. I mean, you spent all kinds of time degreasing power washing the motor under carriage. That's another thing that uh, we do on every one of these cars, guys. Um, we uh, completely power wash the engine compartments, the firewall. Jason spends literally two hours underneath these cars and under the hood with a, a hot seat and gets all the grease, all the old undercoat for the most part, everything off the bottoms of these cars. So when these cars get to your driveway um, and get put in your garage, I mean, they're super clean underneath. There's yep. no mouse nest in the frame. There's no sand and dirt in there. Yeah, I mean, um, he power washes out all the frame, everything. I mean, he, he does a great job. Uh, this Pontiac does have power brakes, power steering. Uh, manual di uh, manual, manual drums, drums, I'm pretty drums. sure, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, aluminum radiator keeping this thing cool. I mean, this is just a driver. I mean, it's just ready to jump in and drive. So as far as uh, it's going to rain on us a little bit here. Um, plus, uh, guys, hey, um, please forgive us for the noise. We are putting a brand new addition, a uh, big showroom, guys, about a 3,000 square foot showroom. Also doing uh, some new landscaping stuff around here uh, just to yeah. make Coyote we're, Classics yeah, even nicer. Super excited. Because uh, the buildings here, actually, my grandpa, Chad's dad, uh, ran a dealership out of these buildings and they've been here for 30 years. So we just, time to revamp them a little bit and then do our thing to them. So we're exactly. Just we're that. starting to get some uh, light rain here, so we want to go over this. But we have a really, I mean, this gap, you can't get it any better in this driver's side hood. Um, lines up perfect to the fender. Um, the front bumper is polished, absolutely gorgeous, guys. The front bumper looks like new. The grill does have some little uh, scars and nicks in it. It's the original grill. Um, we got that trans cooler up there. Just super, super clean bumper, guys. Um, across the top of the hood, the paint is absolutely gorgeous. I don't see really any chips or anything like that, except for right here, just a tiny little white speck there. Um, passenger side gap is perfect as well, Dalton. So you talk about a prior salvage car and you have a hood gap that looks like this. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so like I said, I'm guessing it was stolen, something like that once. Or sometimes when these cars were just projects years ago, they weren't worth crap, right? Exactly. 30, 40 years ago. Project. Right, so if you had to get a new title or something like that, I mean, it's just hard to say, so we're not 100% sure on that. Um, as we look up and down the sides of this thing, it is super, super straight. The red paint looks great on it. Um, you can see your reflection anywhere. And again, this might be another one that, uh, and I don't need it, but a color sand and above, I can see just a light skosh of orange peel in it. Very, very light. Right, just a little bit, just D. A very, yeah. yeah, very little bit. But what I'm saying is, whoever painted this did an awesome job. But if you would take a little little color sand and buff yeah. to it, it would even be that much nicer. Oh, for sure. Such a beautiful color too. And it, it is. Great with the red interior. It's a great car. I mean, we just sold a Tudor hardtop car, very similar to this. Yep. This car's got great paint. Um, Krager Super, Super Sport rims on it, BFG raised wet leather tires. The tires look like almost new all the way yeah, around. Check that tire tread out. So they almost look brand new. Uh, and the guy that we got it from, I mean, he was saying he had 
he had a heck of a lot more money in it than we're gonna price it at. Um, he went through and made sure everything was ready, right, um, as far as mechanically, drivetrain, something that you shouldn't have to have issues with. Um, but yeah, just a great running driving car. Probably the biggest imperfection as far as paint goes is right here. We have uh, like a little, two little nicks in the scrape. Maybe someone yeah. took their bike by it or something. Now, I'm sure we can take it up to Daniel uh, Car Country up there in Allison and yeah. uh, get that touched up. All right, so we're starting to get a little rain, so we want to kind of hurry this up. But check out this gap too. Uh, passenger side door gap, absolutely mint. Um, check out how the body lines up, both spots. I mean, there's no issues there. Obviously, this car's never been hit in the front. No. Um, so as far as our lower fender, no bubbles, no blisters, the door the same way. The front of the door here is excellent, rocker panel is excellent, back corner of the door is awesome, lower quarter is great. You got just a little bit of grease, that rubs off, right D? Yeah, oh, yeah. 10-4. Yeah. Alright, so as we go over top of the quarter, so so far guys, no bubbles, no blisters, no imperfections except for that spot on that door we pointed out. But okay. as we are going ahead over top of this quarter panel, the paint is absolutely gorgeous on it. Over the wheel well, behind the wheel, no bubbles, no blisters, no... I bet this is a super solid car too. I mean, yeah. Judging by the undercarriage and how straight the body is, yeah. um, I'm guessing we could take a magnet across the car and just be super impressed at how the wall it stands too. Um, back bumper, same as the front. It's all been re-chromed, it's in beautiful condition. Um, trunk lid, there again. Look at how nice that lines up across the top of the quarter, perfectly. Same thing over here, guys. We have a super nice um, even gap here. Your bezels and chrome right here. Looks like it is original, has some little pitting. Yep. Bezels are good, but they do have some pitting. They're original. I love this on a 64. Yeah, the drop cool. down. And this is, looks like it's all original. Well, maybe they repainted it. It could be original here. Please do not spill gas or drag hose on car. <laughs> All right, inside the trunk's decent on there. Look at the top, Dalton. Let's go ahead. What, want to put that power top down or brave the rain a little? Or do you... All right, so the power top works great. The top is in excellent condition. Here again, doors open and close great. We're going to go ahead and uh, the, the door rubbers are in fantastic shape. Nice and pliable. Here goes our power top. You want to put it all the way down or you want to? Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Top works just as it should. Yeah, top looks just definitely a newer top. Yeah. This car's a great car, D. Yeah, it is. Um, another thing we were looking at here quick, I was kind of playing with the radio a little bit before. It's got speakers in both the doors and in the back here. Does it sound all right? Sounds awesome. Really nice job. Radio all the biscuit all right. kind of music right here. <laughs> a little slow country? Yes, sir. All right. All right. So, yeah, there's your truck right there, D. Tell you a little country boy. Okay. All right, so as we're looking at the bottom corner of the doors, the corner of the door is in excellent shape. Um, the bottom of the door looks nice. Let's put the top back up. Go ahead. Uh, as far as the, uh, let me do the interior first, though. As far as our interior goes, guys, the original window cranks and uh, door cranks are pitted. Um, it looks to me like the door panel's original, too, D. Do you see how it's just a little bit yeah. of a... Uh, Faded at the bottom. I'd like to check the codes. You want to check the codes under the hood and see if it's a red car or a red interior? Maybe Google that on your phone. Do you have your phone on you? Um, as far as the door panel goes, armrest and base looks good. Door panel looks like it's original. Dash pad looks good on it. Um, the dash was all painted at the same time of the car. They did a nice job. Uh, previous owner also put a little smaller steering wheel in it just to fit better and also put a tilt column. So that's a nice addition. Um, tilt column with a little smaller wheel. Alpine CD player. It was a two-speed power glide car, but it does have a 350 in it now or a 400. I'm not sure. I'll have to check, but it's definitely a three-speed automatic now. Top of the console has a few pits in it, but all in all, looks good. And I got to send another shout out to Jason, our detail guy. This interior did not look like this when it came in. Jason goes through every little rib on the interiors and just completely gets everything looking like new again. So these seats look like brand freaking new front and back it's got seat belts in the back for three so you can haul your grandkids um, as far as the dome light here as we open up the door the dome light is not working right back here uh, as far as the door panels go they're like new um, it's all in excellent shape back seat everything's in great shape guys here as far as we go in here the carpet is a little bit faded but uh, all in all really good and Jason did vacuum it uh, cleaned it all out uh, the kick panels are have been painted they're painted red 
they're not that's probably the least part least favorite part of the whole car as far as I'm concerned if it was me I'd probably go ahead and go it just go ahead and buy some new kick panels just because I don't like how they painted it they should have been new kick panels and dyed yeah. it wouldn't be quite so glossy previous owner put this up yep. I did, I did tell him that and the tilt yep you want that out it's Perfect. got 84,024 miles on the odometer very well could be original the gas gauge works and so does the clock, guys. How many cars do you come in with a clock working? Not like? many, but the last couple have. That 70 Chevelle, that Cuda. Uh, and this one too, which is pretty cool. Does this work? Yeah, I can hear it kicking on. I can't. Shut it down a little bit. Thought I heard it. It's hard to... Heater fan does not work, guys. Hard to hear over the skid loader. Yeah, look at that cold start, though. Yeah. Not quite cold, because it's a bit yeah. idling. No, it sounds great. Inside the glove box, the glove box uh, stuff's all in great shape in there. Well, just, I'll, I'll drive her this time. Really? Yeah. All right. We'll change it up. All right, Dalton's going to go ahead and put that top back up. But if we look how straight the body is, guys, it's a nice car. Uh, he's got his foot on the brake here. we got brake lights working. Um, the car also looks kind of kind of a little bit lowered. I mean, it's got a low slung look to it. It really looks good. Nice and even from front to back. Uh, the body just nicely is tucked over top of those wheels just a little bit. Um, as far as our rear quarter panel goes here on the uh, driver's side, the rear quarter panel is in fantastic shape. Over top of the wheel is, again, just like the passenger side, it's just fantastic. Top edge here has a little tiny little scratch right here. Very small. But uh, as we go across this top edge, the body line is fantastic. The uh, chrome around the convertible top's nice. The top's nice and tight, yeah, isn't it? Is. It does. He really did a nice job there. As far as when you go in the door jams, there's a couple little chips in the door jams, but they did a nice job painting the door jams as well. They all look good. Door shut's great. Um, gap's really good on here. It's just a skosh tighter here than it is in the bottom and top, but not bad at all. Again, no bubbles or blisters in the door, uh, lower quarter panel. If we pop up here to the body line, we have one tiny little chip right here. Very, very small. Same thing, we're gonna come down here to the lower door, uh, lower front fender's in excellent shape. We got a, another little tiny paint chip right here. Front fender's excellent, it's got the 326 badges, kind of, uh, you know, faking a guy out a little bit at a stoplight with a 455 under here. Catfishing him. Yep, catfishing him. All right, as far as the uh, bucket seats, guys, bucket seat console carpet, just like on the passenger side, looks fantastic. There's no wear at all that I can see on this driver's side or passenger side bucket. The rubber here needs to be glued in just a little bit better um, at the top. Corner of the door is excellent. No body filler, no rust there. I love these uh, Pontiacs, these 64s. They sound they're just good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, they sound good. They got. This is a good body line. They're, they're probably one of my favorite. Uh, the early GTOs and uh, Le Mans's definitely like them a lot better than the 70s model. Yeah, no, I do too. I love the square look. Well, we'll let you have your uh, driving debut. Yeah. Um, if you had hair and you want to do it over here on the passenger side, you have the factory Pontiac mirror, guys. It even says Pontiac right on top oh, wow. there. Oh, yeah. But I can't do my hair. <laughs> Wanna see if those wipers work on a day like today? Yeah, it's four. Uh oh. Look at those. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, they even work well. They work well and they clean well. They even have nice blades on them. Oh. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best for the 64 Pontiac. I do love that he put a stuck a 455 in this car. Yeah. And hey, that was a nice shift too. She just he gets up and smooth. goes. Yeah. It's just smooth. Steering's gonna be nice and tight on it too. How are those drum brakes? They actually stop really well. Exactly, guys. No pull left or right. Yeah, that's what surprised me too when I when I looked at them because I drove the car before and when I looked down and saw there were drums. I was like, what? You gonna wait for the school bus? I, I we'll see what they got going. I like to kind of play catch up. See if I can catch the school bus. Yeah, it does. Look how tight the steering is, too. It's 
Steering is excellent, speedometer works great, clock works great, gas gauge works. Um, kick down works. works. Yeah, heck yeah. Probably shouldn't have got behind the school bus. But now I'm kind of getting road rage. I just want to put it down and get around you. But no, just a nice Pontiac. It is. And it uh, is. I do like that clockwork in case you're still in the back. We don't have a cell phone that's got one. Your there car's you go. got one. Old original Pontiac clock. But look at, feel the suspension and just the ride of this car too. Yeah, the shocks feel good, everything feels good. And I was mentioning a little earlier that it's got kind of a lowered suspension because it just tucks yeah. over those wheels really nicely. I'm gonna do something a little different. We're gonna uh, cruise through town? Yeah, heck yeah. All right. We always used to do our, and if you guys- Why don't you hit those wipers? Listeners for a while, or watchers for a while, um, this will look like a familiar scene for you. Yeah, just we'll, going the opposite yeah. way. Yeah, we always used to take them down at this church here and. Uh, before we started taking them in front of the dealership, we'd always come this way. But I really, I, I'm this serious. Is cool. I really like this Pontiac. Yeah. A couple little things that don't work, guys, is the heater fan and uh, those dome lights in the back door panels. But all in all, guys, this thing doesn't have a shake, rattle, or a roll, man. <laughs> no, that impressed me. Extremely impressed me. Uh, and it's comfortable. If you kick it down, what's it gonna do right now? Oh yeah, heck yeah. That dual exhaust sounds good too. I know. Just thumps from the 45. Uh, so. Anyway, guys, go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, we got this uh, 1964 Pontiac convertible. Uh, it's red on red. It's uh, priced at $28,995. Uh, go to our website, check out the undercarriage pictures, give us a call. It's a fantastic car. And also, uh, keep following our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.